Okay, so here we go. Grab your feet, put them together. Grab onto your pinky toe. And your thumb should be in between the big toe and your little fingers around the pinky toe. Grab onto the, ball, the meat of the, big, the foot right here. Put them together and take your elbows and push down on your calves. The pressure point that you're using when you press on your second toe is going to be the first knuckle of your thumb pressing into the first knuckle on the big toe. You're an important part of your training. Your heels actually should be touching. The arch of your foot is not touching, but your feet all the way up to the pinky part of the little part toe should be touching and you're pressing and trying to open up the inner thigh. Now the pressure points on the feet is very important. Now from there you're going to take one leg. Let's take right leg guys. You're going to pull it back. And you're going to pull it back like this. Now once that you have this, I want you guys to take your toe, point your toe, and then lean back. Now, when you guys do this, the foot back here, it's very important that you're on the side of your foot. Your ankle is flat. You're not, the top of your foot is not down, okay? It's not like you're a hurdler, okay? Um, you, do you know what I mean? Your toes should be like, yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Is she right? We're good, okay, yeah. So it's very important that your inner ankle, okay, is on the ground. That's the point that we want to make sure that we're stretching. You should lean back until you get a stretch here, right in this position, okay? And then let's switch. Again, ankle on the floor, point your toe, slightly lean back to get the inner thigh stretched. Next thing we're going to do is take your feet, put them together, and go down and get your hamstring. Grab your solace, bend your knees. Once you've grabbed, once you've grabbed the point you want to grab, keep hold of that point, and then put it down. Punch your toes. I can make a really good joke right now. I am going to actually. Uh, take your hand and you're going to open up the forearms and the window of forearms and wrists because we are going to do a lot of wrist locks. So stretch out those forearms. I do these stretches every time. I go out. I think these stretches are meant for other reasons, not for working hard. <coughs> so if you're getting ready to do anything that I might be doing, then this will be the warm-up program for you. <laughs> so. Switch! <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. They hate me. I know, I know they do. All right, now you got to do the top. Put the down, coat the dory. We're getting on the forearm extensors. Obviously, the extensor is the one that extends the forearm. The flexor is when you flex, right? So a lot of muscles are extensors and flexors. Let me switch. You're putting pressure on the knuckle. Notice I have my middle finger on the knuckles. But some of the stuff that I'm doing, I'm not really showing the specifics right now because we're going fast, but the middle finger should be on the knuckles here as you press in to really stretch the extensor, right? Because we just stretched the flexor before. Okay, now you're going to take your hand and you're going to do it like uh, grab onto your thumb meat like this. And give yourself kota geishi. And then grab the pinky meat and give yourself arakote. And straighten your arms straight out. Kota geishi. Arakote. Alright. Now, what you're going to do is take your hands, put them in a push up position, and get on your knees. You're going to drop your hips all the way down like that. Yeah. And stretch, like push yourself up and drop your hips down. You're stretching your abs, by the way. In case you guys don't know what you're stretching. What's that, what's that point right there? <laughs> it's your abdominal wall. Is that your stomach? <laughs> <laughs> Exactly backwards. Straighten your arms out and push your butt up and drop your arch back like a cat. Oh my God, great. <laughs> <laughs> I do this all the time. I do this all the time. Not what I mean. <laughs> I know. I just thought I was trying to fit in. <laughs> <laughs> One more time to be abdominal. <laughs> you know, see, no matter what, I try to fit in and it just doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. The puzzle piece is the right color, just not the right shape. Oh, I know. I know. You got a different picture on this thing. And lower 
lower back one more time. You another? Damn, Warner, are you good? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> He's like, I am never in this position. How the hell did I do this? <laughs> oh, God damn. <laughs> uh, all right, the next thing we're going to do is go up on the balls of your feet. You guys see me do this all the time. And you do this in swordsmanship. Yeah, you're going to put your heels together, your feet at 45, and it's going to be just like you're doing Eshin Ro Yeah, I did see on the balls. Like this. Yep, just like that. Mm -hmm. And notice I've got my heels touching. That's part of it. Make sure you heel. That's the, that's the hard part. Yep, your heels are touching. Your toes are at a 45 degree. And then you're just like this. Yep. Now, the, the, the kicker here is, you know how like you guys watch samurai movies and they would take like they're cutting wood. Mm -hmm. So then they'll go up and then they go, Woof, and they're in this position. <laughs> They get to this position. Yeah, that's why. So this is a part where, uh, if you think about it, like right here, you got actually no stress on any muscle, on any bone, and you're stretching yourself out. If you really concentrate, and I want you guys to do this for a second while you're in this position, because this, this is true. Because, it, because we're in a vertical position, if you guys think about your lower back right now, it's right there, those two bones, notice there's no pressure at all in your lower back. It actually opens that area up. So when, you, yeah, so when you guys are doing something, your back's hurting you or whatever, and you get like this and kind of bounce a little bit, that's what all, the, it opens all that up. It looks awkward, and I'll go ahead and do it, because I don't want to give a shit about awkward, but, you know, this kind of thing <laughs> tends to, you know, whatever. But it does, it is a stretch. You can take any stretch and make it look perverted. Let's be honest. You can take any stretch and make it look bad, but stretches are supposed to be good and happy. <laughs> There's going to be your Adrenaline Tai So. The next thing we're going to be doing is Ukemi Waza. We're going to be doing Kai or Kaiten Waza. We're going to be doing our roll. So what we're going to be doing...